Good evening. Good evening, Kenya. Good evening, Renee. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you guys? How are you doing, uh, Renee, today? I feel very great. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And what about you, Kenya? How are you? I'm fine. Excellent, very good. Let me go ahead and share the screen with you guys. Sorry. Okay, give me one moment. Hi, Lester, how are you doing? How are you Hello. doing today? Hello, welcome. Como si yo? Do you feel better? Yeah, I feel better. <laughs> Great, I'm glad to hear that, Lester. Thank you for joining. And also, good evening, Luis. Good evening, everyone. Okay, give me one moment. Okay, there you go, ahora sí. Very good, so I already have, um, I, I'm, I'm already sharing, I'm sorry, my screen. And pretty much what we're going to do today, guys, is to continue with, uh, um, I would say with the, with the topic that we started yesterday, we're going to review it very quickly. And after that, we're going to put into practice, right? We're going to put into practice what we have learned, okay? So yesterday we were talking about future simple, okay the two structures that we studied yesterday those are called future simple this is going to be our session number 14 guys only two more sessions and you will be finishing your intermediate one okay so intermedio su modulo intermedio uno okay así que two more classes by friday you will be finishing this level and also today is november the 14th and again if you have any question you can let me know ah also, I sent you a reminder, a friendly reminder, I would say, right? Les envié un, un recordatorio ahí eh, about the documentation that you need to send and also about the, um, the fact, right, that, you know, uh, that documentation or the paperwork goes along with the platform, right? So you need to have the two things um, complete, right? So you can go ahead and move on to the next level, okay? Um, I'm glad because actually most of you are very independent, right? Most of you are very independent. You know what to do and you just go ahead and do it. But again, si usted es, no estaba en el grupo y es primera vez que está en este, este tipo de programas, también puede preguntar directamente con la administración. So uh, they can go ahead and resolve your doubts about, uh, you know, the proper documentation or the proper paperwork. So you can go ahead and, and um, register, you know, for the next level. Okay, so let's go ahead and review. Yesterday, uh, we were talking about the two different structures. We were talking about be going to and will. Be going to and will, right? So they are called future simple. The two structures, they are used in future simple, right? And we said that the main difference between the two of them, the main difference between the two of them is that uh, with uh, going to, I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it for plans. When I have already made my decision, when I have already made up my mind, cuando yo ya me he decidido hacer tal cosa, it's when I'm going to use be going to. And then I'm going to use will, you know, I'm going to use will for possible plans, but I haven't made my mind yet, right? Todavía no lo he decidido. I haven't made a decision about that, okay? So if, if it is just a possibility, if it is just a prediction, I'm going to use will. But if I have already a plan, right? Um, uh, for instance, I was giving you an example yesterday, right? Let's say, let's say that you're going to, or you want to go to a concert, okay? You want to go to a concert and you said, teacher, I am going to go to my favorite Spanx concert. Ah, really? And when? Oh, teacher, it's going to be tomorrow. It is going to be tomorrow, right? At 6 p.m., you know, the concert is going to start. Oh, okay, 
very good. And have you already bought your ticket? Oh, yes, teacher. That's the first thing that I did like five months ago. I bought my ticket. You know, I got a platinum ticket. I saved money for that concert. So that is just, that is not just a possibility. That is a fact that you're going to go to that concert, right? It is a fact because number one, we have, you know, um, time, we have the date, we have the place. You bought the ticket already, so you have already planned everything. No, teacher, si ya planeé todo, you see, I'm going to get there very early. I'm going to eat something with my friends, and then we're going to take pictures. We're going to see if we can get an autograph, etc. Right? So you plan everything. Ya lo tiene todo planeado, right? So that's when we're going to use going to. But what happens if what I want to do is I mean, if, if, if I just have intentions, I just have possibilities, that's totally different, right? Because then I'm going to use will. Hey, what about the concert, you know, for next month? Are you going to go? Mm, you know what? I guess, I'll guess, I guess I'll just go, but I'm not pretty sure. Um, maybe I'll buy the ticket, but I don't know because you know what? I, I'm not working right now, so I don't have cash. I don't have money. So probably I'll, I'll buy it, but I'm not pretty sure. And you know, probably uh, I think I'll go with my brother. I think I'll go with my, if I go, of course, right? I think I'll go with my brother, but I'm not pretty sure. So I'm using will because I just have an intention. I just have a possibility in my mind, but I haven't made a decision. I'm not pretty sure about it. I'm not certain, right? So that's the main difference. Pero luego empezamos a platicar acerca de going to, bueno, the will, más que todo, porque no llegamos a esa parte de going to. And we said that uh, we use will not only for future references, right? Or not only for a future use. Right, but also with a different connotation, right? Let's go ahead and see. Give me one moment, let me get some water. Very good. So yesterday uh, we said, well, let me let me skip this. Vamos a pasar, saltarnos eso por el momento. Let me, let me skip it. We said that we can use uh, I'll or I will when we offer or decide to do something, okay? ¿Y por qué lo estamos así revisando rapidito? Porque hay una actividad en la que vamos a utilizar esto, ¿ok? So you can use I'll or I will when you offer or decide to do something, ¿ok? So I was giving you an example, right? I was giving you an example. You say, well, there you have one. My bag is very heavy, says your mom. <laughs> and then you come and say, no, don't worry, mom. Don't worry, I'll carry it for you. Okay, or you see, for example, one of your classmates, hey, you know what, I really, I really don't understand here, you know, the situation, so I think I need help. Oh, don't worry, I'll help you. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and have a, and have a video call at three or before the class, and I will explain that. I will help you. I will help you. It means that you are offering your help or that you have decided to do something, okay? Por supuesto, sí, teacher, pero en el otro nos acaba de decir que cuando ya hemos hecho una decisión, sí, es cierto. Pero también yo mencioné algo bien importante con will. And with will, we talked about spontaneous decisions, right? O son decisiones es espontáneas, okay? I don't know if you remember that, but yesterday we said that. We talked about spontaneous decisions, right? So we often say, I think I'll, or I don't think I'll, when we decide to do something. Or... Quizás no tanto que lo he decidido, but, but probably that I have made up, I would say, I have, I have the intention. Tengo la intención de hacerlo, but I'm not pretty sure, okay? So we say, we often say, I think I'll, or I don't think I'll, when we decide to do something, I'm tired, I think I'll go a bit early tonight, okay? And then we completed the exercise yesterday. Completamos el ejercicio, et cetera, right? And, um, we use the verbs and we complete it. My bag is very heavy. I'll carry it for you. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you. I'll send you a postcard. I don't want this banana. Well, I'm hungry. I'll eat it. Do you want to share? 
No, it's okay. I'll sit on the floor. Did you find Jenny? Oh no, I forgot. I'll do it now. Are you coming with me? No, I don't think so. I'll stay here. How do you use this camera? Give it to me. I'll show you. So all the sentences or all the scenarios, you know, are included in this particular use. Oh, let me get the infrared pointer. Infrared pointer, okay, so it's going to be here. When I offer something or when I decide to do something for someone, okay? That's how it works, very good. So let's continue. And I think yesterday also we moved here, right? Complete the sentences. Use I think I'll or I don't think I'll, plus these verbs. Por favor, chicos, corríjanme. ¿Nos quedamos en esta o empezamos a ver going to? ¿Se recuerda? Este quedó de tarea ayer. Este quedó de tarea. Bye. Ah, y lo terminamos. Okay, very good. Very good. So let's see. It says complete the sentences. Uh, with the verbs, you got buy, buy, go, and have, and played, okay? So number one, let's see, it's cold today. Volunteer for number one? Volunteer for number one? It's cold today. Me, teacher. Go ahead. I think I'll go out. Okay, let's see. I think I'll go out, very good, okay? Number two, I'm hungry, okay? Volunteer? Me? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm hungry. I think I'll buy something to eat. Mm, well, in my case, I think I'll have something to eat. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Mariana. What about number three? Number three, volunteer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me. Go um, ahead. So I think I I will play tennis. Okay, but I don't think I'll play tennis because I feel very tired. Me siento tan cansada that I don't think I'll play tennis. Okay. 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 Thank you, Lester. What about number four? Number four, volunteer. Number four, volunteer, volunteer. Mm -hmm. No volunteered. Okay, don't worry. I'll show you the answer. It says, I like this hat. I think I'll buy it. Creo que. Cuando yo uso I think or I don't think, es eso. Yo creo que haré esto o no creo que haga esto. Right? This camera is too expensive. I don't think I'll buy it. Si es muy cara, no creo que la compre. Right? So I don't think I'll buy it. Okay? So that's how it works. I don't think I'll do something means that no creo que haga tal cosa, or uh, I think I'll do something means creo que eso es lo que voy a hacer, creo que haré esto, right? Y hasta incluso en español lo decimos, um, no creo que vaya, no creo que vaya a salir, ¿verdad? O eh, creo que voy a comer algo, voy a futuro, right? Entonces, we use like something similar in Spanish, okay? It is when I just make instant decisions or when I am not pretty sure about something, okay? Also, uh, we use will for the future, okay? Entonces, aquí sí ya vamos a lo que, al uso que eh, le vamos a dar, ¿verdad? Que, que con el tema, the present simple, the future simple, I'm sorry. So that's going to be uh, will. So let's see. Um, eh, Mariana, can you please help me reading what is on the board, please? Yes, teacher. Um, Everything, teacher. Yes, please. Okay. We use will for the future, tomorrow, next next week, etc. Examples. Sue travels a lot. Today, she is in Los Angeles. Tomorrow, she'll be in Mexico City. You can call me tonight. I'll be home. Well, probably go out tonight. I won't be here tomorrow. Don't drink coffee before you go to bed. You won't sleep. Thank you very much, okay? So, as she was saying, thank you, Mariana. Um, we use uh, will for future expressions or for future usage, right? Um, it says here, she'll be in Mexico City. Tomorrow, she'll be in Mexico City. That's a probability. ¿Y por qué teacher dice she'll be uh, in Mexico City? Because she travels a lot, 
right? Esa es mi evidencia. She travels a lot. Today she's in Los Angeles and she's, she probably will be tomorrow in Mexico, but I'm not pretty sure, right? So I'm just making like predictions, right? Um, you can call me tonight. I'll be home. Cuando yo digo, voy a estar ahí, mm, it's a possibility. Most likely I'll be there. Muy probablemente sí voy a estar, but I'm not pretty sure, right? We'll probably go out tonight. Ah, el famoso probablemente. We'll probably go out tonight. Y si ya no podemos a la gente, ay, no, pues ya no salimos, decimos. Por ejemplo, así dicen conmigo. I don't like to go out. No me gusta mucho salir, entonces. Cuando yo decía, ah, we'll probably go out in the afternoon or in the evening, ya sabían que, ah, no, pues ya no vamos a ir a ningún lado. Ok, entonces, we'll probably go out tonight. It's just a possibility, right? And you can tell. If you know the person, you can tell if it is going to be true or not like in my case my family knows me so they know that's a no no okay i won't be here tomorrow i won't be here tomorrow so you can go ahead and do that right so mm, probablemente no sea caso. let's go ahead and finish you know that exercise today don't drink coffee before you go to bed you won't sleep what is that that's a prediction right Por qué? because generally when you drink coffee you're you know consuming caffeine and that would affect, you know, um, uh, your sleep, right? Very good. So let's go ahead and continue. And also, we often use the expression, I think, and then will. I think Diana will pass her English test. Do you think the test will be difficult? I don't think it will rain, in the, uh, it will rain this afternoon, right? Yo creo que esto va a suceder. Yo creo que esto va a pasar. Yo creo que esto no va a suceder, etc. Right? Entonces, I think it will. Cuando yo considero que algo puede, tiene probabilidades de suceder. Right? I think Diana will pass her English test. ¿Y por qué dice eso, teacher? Ah, because she has studied. She is very intelligent. She has been practicing. So I think Diana will pass her English test. Ah, okay. Do you think the test will be difficult? Will be. Why? Because Mm, we're going to have it this week, but I don't know when. No sé cuándo, pero vamos a tener examen. Así que, do you think this, the test will be difficult? I don't know. I don't think it will rain this afternoon. Why? Ah, because, you know, you see, the sky is clear. We have a blue sky today, so I don't think it will, it will rain this afternoon. Okay? Entonces, con eso completo todos los usos, chicos, del, um, del will. And now I'm going to move. Ahora ya cambio, ¿verdad? A going to, okay? And that's going to be um, the new topic. So, can someone help me reading? Un voluntario para leer? Volunteer to read, please. Yes. Go ahead, Carla. Bueno, Carla levantó la mano. Thank you, Carla. And then you can help me. Uh, no sé quién fue okay. quien habló. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Well. Uh, going to... Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to to do something I have decided to do. Mm -hmm. It's my intention to do it. I'm going to buy some book tomorrow. Sandra is going to sell her car. Are you going to invite Martin to your party? Uh, the subject plus be plus not uh, plus going to plus verb. That is our structure. Um, I am going to study for the exam. We aren't going to watch that uh, that movie. Sorry. No problem. Thank you very much. Okay. So it says, I'm going to do something, right? It means that I have decided to do it. Okay. When I'm using going to, it means I have decided to do that specific activity. It is my intention to do it. Okay. Just give me one moment. Okay, sorry. Uh, I was saying, um, when I say I'm going to do something, it means I have decided to do it, right? So it's my intention to do it. But I will, I will, I will share with you some examples, okay, uh, about that. Just let me see. It says, I'm going to buy some books tomorrow. That means two things. Number one, I have decided to do it. And number two, that it is my intention. Pero como así, teacher, que es mi intención? Ah. 
my intention is to go there and buy the books, but it will depend on my schedule, right? Dependerá teacher si salgo temprano o no, pero I'm going to buy them. Yo lo voy a comprar, okay? Espero que sea mañana, que me dé chance de salir del trabajo para poder hacerlo, right? So that's my intention, okay? But the decision has been already made. La decisión ya está hecha. Hasta ya tengo, mire teacher, en un sobrecito tengo aquí el dinero para mi libro, okay? So I have decided to do it and that's my intention to do it, okay? Por supuesto, cuando nosotros hacemos o tomamos una decisión, va a depender de los factores también externos, right? Sandra is going to sell her car, right? So um, they have decided, you know, probably um, she's in trouble, you know, she's, she's having a financial um, situation, a difficult financial situation, right? And she says, you know what? I'm going to sell my car, okay? So she made the decision already. Dígame, Carla. Okay, going to, um, we are going to use when we want to make a plan. You can say that you have made a plan. Puede ser, sí, para planes. Yes. Pero, pero la, 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 la idea principal es que usted ya tomó una decisión para hacer algo, o sea, ya decidió que eso es lo que va a hacer. Entonces se convierte en un plan automáticamente. Uh -huh. Correcto. Ok. So, um, and then are you going to invite Martin to your party? Okay, have you decided that? No, no yet, I don't know. <laughs> Después, digamos, tuve un problema con Martin, but I digo, mm, I'm not pretty sure yet, ¿verdad? I, pro I will probably invite him, probablemente, right? I'm not pretty sure. But if you know that um, that will cause you a problem, so you say, uh, yeah, I'm going to invite Martin. Es mi jefe, ¿qué le voy a hacer, verdad? I have to invite him, okay? Entonces, that's, um, as she was saying, right? You can say it's a plan. Yeah. Lo único que a veces se confunde también con, con present continuous para futuro, que también son planes, ¿verdad? O arrangement, es un arreglo. Eh, con going to es eso. Esa es la, la gran diferencia entre will y going to. Que con will yo no he decidido hacer un plan. Solo hablo de posibilidades, solo hablo de predictions. Pero con going to sí. Yo ya hice, ya tomé mi decisión. I have made my decision. I have decided to do something. Ya he decidido ya hacer algo y lo puedo convertir en un plan, por supuesto. Okay. And this is the structure, as she was saying. We got a subject. We got the verb be. Verb be in affirmative, right? And also, if, if it is going to be negative, I have to add the particle not. Okay. And then going to plus the verb. And I'm going to study for the exam. And we, are, we aren't going to watch that movie, right? So there you see. I have to conjugate the verb be. Hay que conjugar el verbo, ¿verdad? And then you add, um, you add the uh, going to and then the, the verb, okay, in base form. Very good. Ayer le explicaba también, be going to, something is going to happen, right? Um, decía yo que okay, we're talking about evidence, right? We talked about evidence. You can see what is happening, right? Like for example, today it was, it, it, well, the whole day has been very, very cloudy, right? And it's kind of, it's been kind of raining, you know, it's been windy and it's just very easy to predict that it's going to rain the whole day, right? Because of the weather conditions, right? So it says, look at the sky, it's going to rain. Why? Because I can see dark clouds now, right? Or the second example, it's nine o'clock and I am not ready. So I'm going to be late because it's already nine o'clock and I am not ready, right? Or for example, typical ejemplo, you have a friend of yours and you know that your friend is dating another friend, right? And you see them y los conoce, ¿verdad? Cono no, conoce sus amigos. You know, say, mm, they won't last, no van a durar, ¿verdad? Why? Ah, because I know him and I know her, ¿verdad? Y no hacen match, ¿ok? ¿Y qué es eso, teacher? Bueno, de, de acuerdo a la evidencia, que yo la conozco a ella, yo lo conozco a él, ¿cómo son? Y basado en mi evidencia, teacher, lo que yo he visto y he experimentado con ellos, mm -mm, they won't last, no van a durar. ¿Ok? Entonces, ahí es donde yo, I can see now that it is true to happen, right? Basado en lo que yo sé o en mi evidencia, yo puedo decir si eso va o no va a suceder, ¿ok? And I can be certain. Puedo estar bien seguro porque probablemente sé lo que está pasando. Ok, so let's go ahead and work on this one. Um, 
De hecho, me acuerdo que lo hicimos ayer. No sé por qué se me viene a la mente. ¿Ok? Que ya lo habíamos hecho, pero bueno. Uh, yeah, ¿Verdad que sí? Yes, Ya, yeah. no, 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 it's ok. Y yo en mi mente, pero yo siento que ya dije esto. Y bueno. yes. Ok. And then, uh, bueno, pero igual y vamos a hacer el repaso, dijimos, ¿verdad? Eh, ok, so yesterday, ¿terminamos este ejemplo o este es el que dejé de tarea? Yo creo que este fue el que dejé de tarea, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you remember? I think we already finished yesterday. Ya está este, vaya, perfecto. Solo déjeme ver. Yo siento que alguien, vi que alguien escribió en el chat, pero no lo abre, fíjense. Um, aquí está. Ah, no, no problem, Luis, no problem. Eh, ok, so let's see. My hands are dirty, so I'm going to wash them, right? Entonces me la pego bien sucias. I'm going to wash them right now, right? Um, what are you going to wear for, uh, to the party tonight? What are you going to wear? What have you decided to wear, right? It's a nice day. I don't want to take the bus. I'm going to walk. So I have decided that I want to go ahead and, you know, walk for a while and I'm going to, I'm going to walk. Steve is going to London next week. He is going to stay with some friends, right? He already made the decision. He already planned to stay with some friends. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat this sandwich. I have made my decision. No es, no, no es mío, pero lo dejó mi mamá aquí, así que... I'll eat it. Me lo voy a comer. I'll eat it. Porque puede ser una decisión instantánea, right? Now it says complete the sentences using going to plus verbs, okay? So este sí creo que no lo hicimos, okay? Así que if you want, I will give you some minutes, okay? Um, so you can go ahead and complete it. Let's go ahead and take four minutes. Four minutes and then we're going to check the answers, please. If you have any questions, please let me know. Pregunta de la plataforma no hay, ¿verdad, chicos? Questions about platform? No, no yet. Okay, no problem. Uh, good evening, teacher. Um, good evening. What is the meaning that lie down? Eh, creo que ayer les dije, ¿se acuerdan que era acostarse, recostarse? Eh, yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome.
Okay, guys, if you're ready, let's go ahead and um, check the answers. Just let me finish the exercise. Okay, vamos a trabajar un ejercicio. <clears throat> and there were some missing questions here. Okay, bear with me. Here we have. Give me one more. Nice. Okay, very good. So let me save the changes. Okay, so let's start. Okay, it's Sharon's birthday next week. It's Sharon's birthday next week. Carla, can you can you complete the sentence? Yes, we're going to give her a present. Okay, we're going to give her a present. Very good. Sue says she's feeling tired, Lester. Okay. Uh, she will going to lie down for an hour. Okay, but both are will or both are going to? Uh, sorry, she is going to lie down for an hour. Excellent, very good. She's going to lie down for an hour, okay? Thank you, Lester. There's a good film on TV tonight. Uh, let's see, Rene. Are you going to watch it? Okay. Very good. Oops. Are you going to watch it? Yeah, let's pass it as end, okay? What is Rachel going to do when she leaves school, right? What is Rachel going to do when she leaves school? And the last one, Mariana. Ronald? He's going to visit his grandma next week. Very good. Ronald is going to visit his grandma next week. Very good. Now it says, look at the picture. What is going to happen? Esa es para ese uso, chicos. When I see the evidence, I see what is happening, and then I, you know, say what is going to happen, right? So take a look at the first picture. What do you think? What do you think is the person thinking? She think it's going to it's, rain. Yes. Exactly, right? So it is going to rain. Okay, what about the num the second one, the shelf? What about the shelf? Mm -hmm. It's going to break. Okay, oh. you can say it's going to break, right? Or you fall? can also, oh, mm -hmm. fall. Double. Exactly. The shelf is going to fall. Or you can say the shelf is going to fall down. Okay. Fall or fall down. Very good. What about the car? Look at the car. Look. Look at the light. Look at the, at the, at the arrow. So what's going on there? The car is going to turn. It's there. going to uh, Sorry. Pensé que tenía el, mic el micrófono No, apagado. pero está correcto, Rene. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, the car is going to turn right. The car is going to turn right. And what about number four? What do you think it's going to happen in number four? Number four. He's going to kick the ball. Very good, right? So he is going to kick the ball, right? He's going to kick the ball. But now guys, let's go ahead and move um, and let's take a turn. Okay, ahora sí es tiempo ya de ponerlo en práctica. So it says, what are you going to do today or tomorrow? Write three sentences, okay? But let's do it like this. Vamos a hacer dos cosas. You're going to give me two things that you are going to do tomorrow. And I want you to tell me two things that you will probably do, okay? Entonces lo vamos a poner así. Okay, what are you going to do tomorrow? Write two things, okay? And then, okay. Vamos a poner otro acá. And then I want you water. Okay. Oops, wait. What will what will you do tomorrow? Write two sentences, okay? This is this is what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to leave it like that so we can put into practice the two things, las dos cosas, okay, al mismo tiempo. What will you do tomorrow? Porque siempre Will me lo pone con mayúscula. Quizás porque piensa que es nombre, ¿verdad? 
Okay, and two things that you're going to do tomorrow. Okay, so, oops, sorry guys. So let's go ahead and work on this. Let me put this up. Ahí está, there you go. What are you going to do today or tomorrow? Pero no today, porque ya es tarde. Bueno, al menos que, al menos que tenga planes para después de la clase. But I don't think so. Probably you will go to sleep or probably you will eat something and then you will go to sleep. So what are you going to do tomorrow? Write two sentences, one and two. What will you do tomorrow? Write two sentences, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let me know when you're ready, please. This is for you to put into practice all the things that we have been studying, okay? All the things that we have, but, but we, still, we still have time. Tenemos tiempo todavía, because also um, we're going to have a, a, an activity after this, okay? Just let me move the table a little bit. Sorry for the noise. There you go. Very good. So Marianne is ready, Liz is ready, and let me go ahead and start with them, okay? So tell me, Luis, so what are two things that you're going to do tomorrow and two things that you will probably do tomorrow? No, but you have to say it, Luis. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow, I'm going to start driving class. Very good. I'm going to sleep cool tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to visit my aunt tomorrow. Okay, you're going to visit your aunt tomorrow. Very good. Excellent. And the two things that you will probably do? I I think I will head to my brother with your days. 
Uh, with my all. task? With my task or his task? Uh, his task. Very good. Yeah. Um, I probably will cook to my friends. We'll cook for, for my friends, for my friends. For, for my friends. Excellent, thank you very much, please. Thank you, what about you, Mariana? Okay, um, tomorrow I'm going to the Oculus and I'm going to do my homework. <laughs> okay, great. And I'll read, and what will I do tomorrow? <laughs> I'll read a book and I'll order my closet. Okay, you organize your closet. Very good. Thank you, Mariana. Very kind. Okay, so what about you? Let's see, Kenya. Hi. Um, I, sorry. Don't worry. I'm going to dye my hair. And I'm going to tie up my room. Very good. And I think I will cook burgers for the lunch. <laughs> okay. Probably I will see a movie. Very good. Excellent, right? Very good examples. Thank you. What about you, Brian? Good night, teacher. Hi, Brian. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to do the breakfast. And I I'm going to make. I, I'm going to make. Yeah. I'm going to make the breakfast and I'm going to the mall and two things I probably do is take out the trash and I think visit some friends I have okay so I think I'll visit my friends and I think I'll take out the trash you said right very good yeah. excellent good job thank you brian what about you um let's see carla carla hernandez carlita carla hello can you read your sentences carla yes sorry <laughs> don't worry it's okay I'm going to prepare some food to my lunch. For, for my uh, lunch. For my lunch, sorry. I'm going to buy new clothes. Very good. I will I will call my mom and uh, I will buy um, a new toy to my, for my children. Okay, excellent. Very good examples, Carlita. Thank you very much. What about you, Danny? Go ahead. Danny. Good night, teacher. Good evening, Danny. Hello. Um, for tomorrow, in first, I'm going to wake up. Okay. I hope I can wake up. <laughs> you will feel very tired. In second place, I'm going to take a shower with a cold water. Okay. And replace, I'm going to wear my uniform and go to my work. Okay, very good. So that's the plan for tomorrow then. Excellent. Thank you very much, Danny. What about you, Rene? Can you read your sentences? Tomorrow, I'm going to clean my house. Tomorrow, I'm going to do the final exam. Okay. And tomorrow, I probably go to the supermarket. Tomorrow, I think I... I'll, I'll shower my dog. I'll bath, bath my dog. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Good job. Very good sentences, Renee. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, who's next? Let's see. Oops. Um, Monica, Monica, are you there? Hi, Monica. Yes, I'm here. Hi. Can hey. you share your sentences with oh. the class? Okay, tomorrow um, I'm going to go to the mall and I'm going to bake a cake. Um, I guess I'll buy some new clothes and I think I'll go out for, breast, for breakfast. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good plans. Okay, good decisions. Thank you very much, Monica. And well, guys, 
Uh, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to, well, if we, if we are unable to complete it today, hopefully we're going to complete it tomorrow, okay? But I have a situation, okay? Uh, let me move on here, okay? It says, your relatives are coming from another country to visit you and spend a week in El Salvador, right? This will be the first time they come after many years and you want them to enjoy as much as possible and to have them visit as many places as possible and have fun, okay? So what I want you to do is to prepare a quick itinerary, right? For your relatives, you, well, remember uh, to use be going to to write your plans in the itinerary and use will to make a spontaneous decisions, right? You can include things like, where would you go, right? What would you do? What food would you eat? Where would you stay? Or the souvenirs, etc. okay? All those lugares que quieren que visiten. So what I need you to do is to write down, please, your itinerary, right? Lapis y papel, okay, pen and paper. And I want you to create it right now, okay? So I want you to create your itinerary that you have um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? And the very first thing that we're going to do mo Monday morning is going to be to pick them up, right? So we are going to pick up my relatives from the airport at 9 a.m. That is the first plan. And the final thing that we're going to do on Sunday evening, pobrecito que cansado, ¿verdad? We are going to drop our relatives off at the airport at 9 p.m. But look, look, we have so many, so much time, so many things we can do, right, with this time, okay? So please prepare your itinerary, right? I will give you some minutes for you to write down some ideas, okay? Write down some ideas, and then I'm going to ask you to share them with the class, okay? You can, you know, do crazy things, invent, be creative, okay? So I'm going to give you five minutes y luego de esos cinco minutos, I would like to listen to your ideas. Quiero escuchar por lo menos las ideas que tienen, okay? So go ahead and again, if you have any question, let me know. Please, let me check your exam. Quiero ver el examen de ustedes, ¿cómo está? Let's see. This is intermediate. Give me one moment. Where is it? There's my notebook. So please, uh, you can take the screenshot, right? Para que, por si no lo logramos terminar, porque hoy quiero escuchar solamente sus ideas, right? But you have to finish it uh, for tomorrow so we can review this in class, okay? Just a reminder, chicos. Remember also that I send you the reminder to to the to the group, right? That you have to finish the platform. You have to finish the platform, and that you have also to complete the paperwork and documentation, right? For your for the registration process of the next level, okay?
excuse me teacher i have an, a question about the next level the next level is intermediate too or yes mm -hmm. intermediate too so what uh, in total what um, how many intermediate levels are mm, let me find it out creo que lo había notado wait Yo creo que son cinco, cinco y cinco, René, pero let me check. Five basics, five intermediates, and five advanced. But let me see. Okay, déjenme ver. Por aquí lo tenía, wait. Sí, aquí creo que lo tengo, permítame. I'm checking. No, entonces son seis de cada uno. Eh, René, usted me había preguntado, ¿verdad? No, it was me, Lester. Ah, Lester, I'm sorry, perdón, es que no vi bien su nombre, Lester. Sí, este, son seis, de hecho. O, oh, espérenme, es que no sé si es este. No, no es puede que ser pregunto este. Porque, porque me acuerdo que había uno que era preavanzado. Sí, y... tiene razón, es otro. Eh, no sé si es que pasa. Yo, yo recuerdo que en intermedio eran tres. Excuse me. Yes, um... Si quieren, después les, yo les puedo responder después porque en mi caso, chicos, yo es, es primera vez que trabajo con el programa, por eso es que no, no sé mucho. Ajá. Pero yo puedo averiguarles, no se preocupen. ¿Alguien iba a decir algo? Uh, yes, are, are three intermediate. Uh, sí. Model one, model two, and model three. Ok, entonces son tres, tres, ok. Yo recuerdo que por todos eran 15, fíjense, 15 módulos. Por eso es que le comento que yo creo que son 15, son 5, 5 y 5. Porque eso es lo que yo recuerdo. Ajá, porque de ahí los que son 6, 6 y 6 son los, eh, los módulos ya, perdón, Instafor, pero ya de dos horas, ¿verdad? Um, Sí. sí, le voy a preguntar a mi Selena, pero como le digo, yo recuerdo, yo sí, yo recuerdo que lo había anotado, pero recordaba que eran 5, 5 y 5, eran 15 por todos.
sí. Es de 15 niveles. 15 niveles son. Pero no apunté, no apunté cuáles son, pero sí. Sí son 15 niveles, chicos. Así que I guess, I guess it's going to be five, five, and five. Right. Yeah, but don't worry, tomorrow I will give you that info through the chat, but I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down right now. Because I wrote it down so I can give you that information by tomorrow. Okay. But don't worry, we will find it out. Yeah, I thought I thought that I had a, you know I have written down the information, but what I, what I wrote was just the fact that it was 15 um, modules, right? It was 15 modules or 15 levels, but um I didn't, I didn't type, I mean, I didn't write information about, you know, uh, which levels are included in each of the um, sections, right? Basic, intermediate, and advanced. But most likely, I think it's going to be five, five, and five, but I'm not pretty sure about it. So I'll get that answer for you tomorrow. Okay, guys. So um, I don't think we're going to have time to, to check the itinerary by today, but please, uh, for tomorrow, Try to bring your itinerary to the class so you can share with us. But this is the thing, I want you to be creative. I want you to really think that you have like the means, right, of medios, right, to do so many things in your itinerary, right? Um, you can go ahead and, um, if you want, si usted quiere incluso, y quiere presentar, quiere mandarme la imagen, verdad, una PowerPoint con su itinerario, you can go ahead and do that. That's not a problem, no hay problema. Um, you can prepare your itinerary o una foto si quiere lo prepara en papel y me manda la foto o la escanea como usted gusta y luego lo revisamos mañana en clase ok, so um, eso nos va a ahorrar tiempo, verdad, si usted quiere sorry, ver. sorry um, I live in a moment ¿Qué es lo que estaba diciendo sobre las presentaciones que si usted quiere puede pre preparar su itinerario y me lo manda y luego lo presento yo acá ya completo, verdad ah Mm -hmm. You're welcome. O lo puede hacer en papel, ¿verdad? Y me manda el escaneado o la foto o me manda la slide, la presentación, como ustedes gusten, ahí al, al grupo y luego lo vemos acá, ¿verdad? Y compartimos y vemos qué es lo que ustedes han hecho en sus itineraries, ¿ok? Um, then, guys, if you don't have any questions, ah, uh, sí, sería a través del grupo. Ajá, si hacen el itinerario, sí sería a través del grupo, chicos, ¿ok? Ahí me lo mandan. Y ahí lo reviso. Y yo mañana les averiguo lo de, lo de los grupos, ¿verdad? Este, and if you don't have any question, I will stop here, guys. Thank you very much for joining. And um, I really hope you can make it tomorrow. Remember that uh, this week we're going to finish on Friday. Terminamos el viernes, acuérdense, ¿verdad? So nos falta mañana y pasado. But if you have any question, you can go ahead and let me know, okay? So thank you very much for joining and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye guys. Good night. Bye, good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.